All right, if you're shooting video on a DSLR, you're going to be coming into this issue. If you're watching this tutorial, you probably already have. Uh, it's how to fix in post dead, stuck, or hot pixels. This video is kind of a worst case scenario um, just because there's a ton of hot pixels on this one. Um, I was really cranking the ISO and the sensor was kind of overheating uh, while I was doing this because I was using the camera a lot this day. So the smaller the monitor, the harder it is to see this right now, but we've got a red pixel here, blue, 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 red. Now you can only really see it when it's really dark. Uh, we may have dead pixels here where the white is, but it's all overblown highlights so you can't see it. Now I know for a fact that in this clip, someone walks in front of my camera, which effectively blocks everything, which is extremely convenient. So there's everything. Um, so I'll wait, there we go, right here. So it's completely blocked. We will export that frame. Let's call that hot pixel. Hot pixels. Say okay, I'm saving that to my desktop. I'm gonna pop open Photoshop. All right, there's the image. What we wanna do here, uh, we're going to be creating a plate to be used in Premiere. First, we're going to create a new layer. Now, what this layer is, I can put here uh, the fixed layer. That layer is like putting a clear piece of glass over the frame. And we can draw on this and not do any damage to the background. So we're gonna get the pencil tool, make sure it's set to black. Uh, and it's roughly, you know, a little bit larger than the size of a pixel. I'm going to zoom in, control, plus sign. And I start in kind of quadrants just to make sure I don't miss anything. And what you'll do is you find them and you draw over them. This is the first step. Now, to save your sanity, and I respect your time, I'm going to fast forward this part. All right, and there we have it. Now we're gonna zoom out, control minus. Now you're not always gonna be this lucky and have somebody walk in front of the frame like this. Uh, it'll usually be you know, a, a scene going on with some dark spots and that's when you'll notice it. Um, but if you're ever in, you know, suspecting that you might be getting hot pixels, if you've been using it a long time, you got the ISO really cranked, uh, put your hand over the lens or just put the lens cap on for you know, a second and that way you can pull, from, pull that data uh, in post. All right, so what we wanna do now is create a rectangle over this, uh, a white plate. And we're gonna bring that between the fixed layer and the background. And there we go, that's exactly what we want. Uh, now hit Control Shift S. We wanna save that as a PNG file. And I'll call it Hot Pixel Fixed. Say okay, we're gonna pop back into Premiere and hit Control I to import that file. Uh, make sure it's the hot pixel fix, not the original one. Now, before we drag this into the timeline, we're going to copy this. Okay. Now you have uh, the same exact file twice. So video one, video two on video three, or however you have this project set up if you're in the middle of something. Um, and on the third layer is the pixel fix, this plate. Now, here's what we're going to do. On this second layer here, I'm going to go to the Effects tab and start typing in Track. And bring over the Track Matte key. You're going to tell it that the matte, in this case, is Video 3. You use what, whatever layer this is on. So in my case, Video 3. We're going to do Matte Luma. Okay, now you're not seeing any difference here because the pixels are still here. What we've effectively done with that Track Matte key is, between the Track Matte key and that PNG file, that plate, we've punched holes in this video file for track two. So what you're seeing, if this was a piece of celluloid, it would literally have holes punched in it everywhere I had created a black dot on that track mat. Now, on that mat. Um, now what we're going to do is, what we're seeing is we are seeing the video one file here, what's on track one. So we're gonna go in here, Gaussian blur, and we're gonna blur that. And let's do like 25 to start. Now before I hit enter, Take a close look at, like, let's say that red one, because that's pretty prominent. And we're gonna hit enter. And it's gone like that, like magic. Scrub through it, it looks good. Like it wasn't even there. And that's it. Now, of course, obviously, um, keep doing that for all the other ones. Now, the good news is, 
If you have this and it's, it's across multiple clips with the same camera at the same shoot, chances are excellent that this same plate will work for the rest of them. So every clip that has hot pixels, you don't have to worry about uh, creating a brand new one of these from scratch, per se. If you found that helpful, uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, feel free to subscribe for more of these types of videos that are coming out every Tuesday. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.